What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Vu of Envu Films, back with another video. I have no idea why I even said ladies because 99.9% .9 of my viewers are men, and I get it. Ladies probably don't find 40-year-old Asian men with pubic hair beards to be nice to look at, which is why they don't watch. I'm completely fine with that. I'm married, two kids. Today, I'm just here to talk to you about gear that you may or may not need in your life. And I'll tell you one thing I do need in my life right now is music in my video because right now my son is in one of his sessions and I can kind of hear a lot of noises in the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to mask it by adding some music to this video. Hopefully it doesn't sound like absolute trash. If you're watching this video and you're probably like me, you're either a videographer, filmmaker, or someone who wants to be a videographer, filmmaker, and just trying to watch some shit to get some information, whatever, I get it. You're probably a bit of a gearhead. You like gear, you like playing around with things, you like trying out new things. And in the videography space, there's like a ton of different gear you can try out. And it doesn't help that on YouTube, there's like 18 billion tube douchers constantly trying to sell you stuff. And no, I'm not talking about just talking about gear and just making you aware of it. I'm telling you, they are actively trying to sell your stuff because it's sponsored. They know they're gonna try to get commission. And a lot of times you could see the bullshit in what they are presenting you. Thankfully, although I am a tube doucher, I am not one of those types. I'm not gonna lie to you. Of course, I'm gonna want you to buy gear on my affiliate links, like a commission and all that stuff, but I'm not going to sit here and BS you on products just to sell it to you. When I talk about stuff on my channel, it is stuff that I tried, I liked, it works. 95% of the time, things I talk about on my channel, I actually use in my own videography work or doing these YouTube videos or whatever. But if I don't use it and I talk about it on this video, it doesn't mean that my viewers may not need it. Case in point, this gigantic slider right here from Zpon. Right away you're like, oh crap, this guy got sent this slider and now he's gonna talk about it and sell it for the next half an hour and you actually are correct they did send me this to try out and to make a youtube video about it and this is this youtube video but i'm not going to talk about it for that long because it's a slider there's not much to talk about right when zipon reached out to me to try out the slider and to potentially do a youtube video about it i was like i don't know man a slider i don't really use it that much you know I have other sliders that I could use for like interview shots and stuff like that, but I really don't use a slider that often. When I do product shoots, I just do handheld. I could slow it down. I could use some warp stabilizer if I have to, to get like those moving shots of products. I didn't find the need of a slider until I looked at it and I was like, yo, this thing looks cool as shit. And it really still does. I mean, all this carbon fiber, you know, some Mexican dude could easily put this slider on the back of his trunk and there'll be a legit carbon fiber spoiler on that Mexican Civic. You know what I'm talking about. 100% this thing is legit. And honestly, it probably came out of the same factory as a lot of these carbon fiber spoilers you could buy online. So there's that. But overall, it's a very high quality slider, right? It has a motor here where you could obviously program for it to move from one spot to the next and go back and forth or whatever. It has an app, you could do it all on your phone. I'm not gonna go in depth on that because it's self-explanatory. It's a very easy, intuitive app to use connected via Bluetooth that enables you to program this thing to move back and forth. The special thing about this particular slider is that it also comes with the tilting head. Just as you could program the slider to go back and forth and pan, you could also program it to tilt, which most sliders can't do. Most sliders could only go back and forth and maybe pan. This one could pan, it could tilt, so you get a more dynamic movement with your slider. And of course, like every product, there are pros and cons. Obviously the pro is that this thing is well built. It is really nicely made. It's battery powered using Sony MP batteries. It has an app. It is high quality, okay? Bar none, like if you need 
a slider to get these sliding shots that both pan, tilt, slide the whole nine yards like it's a freaking Michael Jackson of sliders. This is great. The cons are this tilting motor is a bit weak, you know, especially if you have a heavy lens and you want it to tilt up. It kind of has erectile dysfunction like a 60 year old Asian man. Thankfully, I am 40, so I'm not quite there yet. But it struggles a bit if there's a lot of weight in the front. So when you're putting a camera, there's an FX3 with the Sony 2470 G Master 2, not the version one now. This is a version two because I'm a baller and I don't mess around with poverty, right? If you're messing around with a 24 GM Mark I, you're, you're in poverty. So it is what it is, right? I'm not here to make fun of you. Maybe you should stop watching this YouTube channel and go to the government office to get food stamps. I'm just kidding, man, that's messed up. You know, there's a lot of people struggling out here. I'm blessed. I have freaking brands sending me stuff for free to try out and to make YouTube videos. Like, I shouldn't complain. So, yeah, so you just have to make sure that when you're mounting, you know, a heavier-ish lens, especially when you're gonna be zooming out to 70 or something like that, you're gonna have to try to make sure that you mount it towards the back. So slide the camera as far back as you can on the base of the tilting motor to be able to use it, no problem. The other issue is this thing is kind of noisy. It is louder than I would like it to be. And that does not necessarily mean you can't use it to get your like slider secondary interview shot from, you know, a ways you know, from a distance. It just means that you just have to have it further away. So you gotta use probably a little more of a telephoto, at least like a 70, 85 mil to get those shots. And usually that's what you'd use to get those slider shots. And to avoid your microphones picking up the noise from the slider motors. So if I were to go here and do a quick program of this slider to go back and forth from let's say here, can you hear it? I'm sure you could probably hear it on my mic because my mic was right here on my chest. And um, my B, and then, so as you can see, you could probably hear it, yeah? Is it noisy? So yeah, a little bit of noise, but you know, again, if it's a certain distance away, it shouldn't be a problem. And the other, and the other issue with this slider is that it is expensive. It is like, I've seen it from anywhere between 800 to 900 bucks or something like that. So you're pushing a G for a slider. And so if you're gonna be purchasing something like this, you better make sure you're using it. Maybe you're doing a lot of product uh, videography. Um, maybe even your, Maybe if you're doing a movie or, or a TV show or some, some type of filmmaking where you're gonna need like a very controlled moving shot that follows you know, a subject properly, a interview videos or something like that. If you're doing a lot of that, this is gonna be well worth it just because of the quality and the fact that you could pan and tilt and slide and do you know, program everything to, to move that way very quickly, easily using the app. And unfortunately, I have not really figured out if I could control the tilt with all the controls right here on the motor itself. I don't think so. So unfortunately, if you want to be able to program and control the tilt, I mean, you could control the tilt with the buttons on the tilting motor, but if you want to program it, you need the app. So that's unfortunate. But other than that, very nice, high quality slider. So. I would say the vast majority of you probably don't need this at all. But again, if you are going to be using things like a slider often, this is a very nice one. Just keep in mind, it's pretty pricey, but again, there's a lot of quality here. Links are in the description below as always. One thing that every videographer, filmmaker, creator needs other than obviously gear and equipment is music licensing. And obviously I had to add music over this video earlier to mask out all of the noises from my son. 
and I got the music from Artlist. And of course, Artlist is sponsoring me to say this, but that doesn't mean I haven't been an Artlist member for the past six, seven years, paying my own subscriptions to Artlist. So obviously there's a bunch of other music licensing subscription services out there, but Artlist is by far the highest quality at the best price. There has been multiple other music subscription services that I have tried in the past that were either the same price or cheaper, but the music is horrendous. The instruments used are cheap sounding, very synthesized sounding. Not to say our list doesn't have synthesized music, but the quality of whatever equipment they're using just sounds a lot better. And I notice it even with my you know, non-professional trained ears. Our list music just sounds a lot better than any other music licensing services out there. And if the subscription service quality does match what Artlist has, it is way more expensive. For under $40 a month, which is like 500 bucks a year, you're gonna be getting music, sound effects, stock footage, video templates, and apparently video editing and other image editing apps and including plugins. And I'm telling you, other websites is way more than $500 a month just to get some high quality music. So on top of that, the licensing is just easy to use. All you do is you download the music and you put it on your video and you upload your video and that's it. Whereas other subscription services make you go through a bunch of crap, putting a bunch of stuff in your description just to make sure like your YouTube video doesn't get copyrighted and then you end up losing your monetization on that video because that music was not licensed even though you paid for the license. But if you don't need graphics, stock footage and all that stuff, all you need is music and sound effects. The membership is actually only a little bit over $16 a month, which is again, very affordable, very cheap, especially if you're just starting off, if you're just getting into filmmaking and you don't wanna spend a crap ton of money on your music subscription. You could also just get footage and templates for just $30 a month. But in my opinion, $40 a month for pretty much music, sound effects, stock footage, templates, the whole nine yards. The website is very easy to navigate. You could search things with filters and you know, based on what you need, what kind of genre, what kind of instruments, self-explanatory. If you're interested in trying or signing up for Artlist, click the links in the description below and you will get two free months of Artlist services Obviously, if you click the links in the description and sign up, I get some commission. And I'm not gonna tell you that it's gonna help me make more videos because if I were to sit here and make videos just for money, I don't think I could do it. Um, when I create these YouTube videos, the one thing that I look forward to the most and I enjoy the most is just actually just setting up the shot. After that, it's just me trying my very best to talk about random stuff gear that is very hard to present things of that nature and yeah it's just a place for me to share my knowledge and share my thoughts on whatever it is that's going on in videography and photography that's it if money was the absolute driver for youtube i don't think i could possibly do it because it is way too corporate and i don't want to be selling you stuff talking about how I'm doing YouTube to be creative and all this stuff and all I'm doing is selling stuff for brands. I'm not about that life, okay? I'm here to help you be a better creator. I like creating things. That's why I have a YouTube channel. I like to draw, I like to paint, I like to tell stories. It's all about creating stuff. And if I can't do that freely and openly and honestly, I wouldn't do it at all. The next thing you may or may not need is a fog machine like this one from Ulanzi. And you may or may not have seen this fog machine uh, on your Instagram reel or some YouTube ad or something like that. But usually the ones that you see is completely black. Again, I'm a tube doucher and Ulanzi sent this to me without charge to try out. They didn't tell me to make a video or anything, but I'm gonna include it in this because this shit is actually really nice. Um, yeah, this one they sent me is like a special edition one that I don't know if they're even selling, but it has some graffiti on it looking straight, supporting LGBTQ 
RGB, LED, whatever community. And uh, yeah, it's just really cool to use, very easy to use. And surprisingly, the fluid to get a room the size of my office here, nice and hazed up, probably took five minutes, if that. And even on like 50% power, um, yeah. As you can see, turn it on. And now I look like I've been smoking opium for the past 45 minutes. It comes in a nice little pouch with everything you need. The instructions are very self-explanatory, which is why I'm not gonna explain it here. And yeah, nice case. The fluid is last a long time. I put some fluid in here and I hazed up the whole room. It didn't even look like I used any of the fluid at all that I had put in here. And the fluid is actually very cheap. You could buy like a gallon for like $30. And I'm gonna tell you a gallon will probably last you forever. Um, but yeah, it's a very powerful smoke machine. Controls are very easy to use. And it's only $109. But you could also sometimes get some discounts. And I've seen it as cheap as $89. The fact that it haze up an entire room very quickly to give me this nice diffused look without even having to use any type of mist filter or anything. And that's actually what mist filters does. Like mist filters tries to mimic the look of a shot that is kind of hazy, but in this case, got no mist filter on my lens and I just used this haze machine that literally took two seconds to freaking just haze up the whole room. If you're into that kind of thing, if you're doing like product shots and stuff like that and you want that smoky look, you will definitely need a nice little fogger like this, especially only like a hundred bucks. And it'll be nice to have the slider too. Unfortunately, to buy both of these would be a thousand bucks, but yeah. Very nice addition to uh, any filmmaker's kit. And I'll be honest, I think every filmmaker should have something like this, you know, just on hand, just in case you need some type of haze or fog reaction in your shot. So this is actually highly recommended period. And if you're looking to be, if you're a filmmaker, videographer, or looking to be one, this is definitely a worthy investment uh, for any videographer out there. Kudos, uh, good job Ulanzi on this fog machine. Anyways guys, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe and until next time, lighten up. Hey man, what you doing? Checking out my Instagram account. Oh my God, Instagram, it rat. It don't let you monetize your video. Oh, for real? Good thing I have a YouTube channel. What your YouTube name? YouTube.com at Envu Films. Oh, I want your YouTube already. It trat. Why is that? You don't read spec sheet when you do review. You don't smile for no reason. You're not sponsored by Storyblock or Squarespace. Bro ain't trying to be like anyone else. You have no subscribe. You make no money. How much you make? Let me show you. Bro, that's like three cents American. How are you gonna buy new flip-flops with that? You got your pinky toe hanging out on the small ass flip-flops? It does style. If you want pedicure like mine, visit butt and hole for nail and musha. Pedicure and happy ending, only 29 dollars